This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. We are just turning up in the yard. We've got a very late start today. Let's jump out the car. We've got a different day planned today as well. Something which we don't normally do. And I'm looking forward to doing, to be honest with you. Now, the thing is, I'm not entirely sure how much I can actually film because both places we are collecting and delivering from, I know I can't film inside. But we can film the road, the journey. Um, I might pull in here, our yard, after we're loaded to show you the load as well. So we're off of their property. In fact, I will do that, get some shots and, uh, and go from there. But let's walk to the truck. I'm looking forward to today. Now, I'm sure you've seen the thumbnail. I'm sure you've seen the title, so you know exactly what it is I'm talking about. Here it is. Today, we're on a low loader. Used to do a lot of low loader work when I was uh, working for JK Transport, uh, doing tarmac machinery, things like that. Today we've got it because we need to pick up a tall load. The things we've been picking up are like basically heavy metal parts. And this particular part we've got to pick up uh, today is uh, 3.2 meters tall, I've been told. That's, that's the unit itself. So by the time it's up on here, we're probably going to be looking at 4.2, 4.3 meters, something like that. We can still go a bit higher if need be. I've got a measuring stick, so I will obviously measure it. But yeah, that's the reason why we're on uh, on a low loader. If we were on a flatbed, it would probably be... So I just had a phone call. So if it were on a flatbed, the height of the flatbed would be there all along the, 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 all along the trailer, basically. So the thing itself would be too high above the cab, so it wouldn't work. Anyway, I just had another interesting phone call from the boss and uh, one of our trucks had broken down. It's the DAF, my old DAF actually. Um, but when I picked up this trailer, he told me to leave the ramps there, they wouldn't be needed. I think at some point, I think he's going to pick up the ramps and I, we're going to be meeting um, Matt and we might be rescuing a truck <laughs> as well. So we might be rescuing a truck today, um, which means plans have completely changed. But that's cool, we can get that on the page. My boss might be meeting me there. I'm not sure. Anyway, we've got to do some checks, warm the engine up, set up some GoPros daily, and then we can crack on with the day. Right, we're in the truck. Checks are done. I just need to finish off the checks on my app. Okay, so I'm sending that off now. That's sent. We, um, yeah, so we're going to head to, well, we've just got to go over the roundabout, basically, straight down and then get loaded. I can't film inside there. Once we're out, we can film. I'll probably come back in here, show you, show you what we got on, and then crack on up towards Birmingham. Um, we're actually going to Tamworth. Um, my boss said something about someone had broken down, one of my colleagues, Matt, and uh, I might need to rescue him, because obviously I've got the low loader, but he also said something about maybe meeting me there, because I, I dropped off the ramps. The ramps were on the back of this trailer, and... Um, Oh, they weren't needed, so I took them off, <laughs> as requested. Uh, and then this morning, he's like, actually, I think we might have needed them. So I don't know what's happening. He might be going to get the ramps, and then, because he, he's got a van, he can put them in the van, and meet me where Matt has broken down. That could be potentially happening. Or I might have to go get the ramps. But that doesn't make sense, because then I've got to, well, I don't know. He might ask me to go get the ramps before I go make the delivery. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All I know for now is I've got to go get loaded. Um, I might not even be rescuing him at all. Someone else might. No idea. No idea. We just we just do what we're told. We've got to get this done first. That's the main thing. This is what we. Uh, this is our job for today. Go get this big old piece of metal thing recycled, and uh, yeah, then we will uh, we'll go from there. So uh, I'm going to stop filming now because I can't film inside. I'll see you when we're out and I'll show you what we got on. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're in. We're on the loading ramp. We've got to go inside a building. Uh, we're just waiting to be um, banksman back. I have phoned the guy we're doing the work for and he's 10 minutes away, so yeah, it's a bit annoying, but never mind. Um, I'm not allowed to film inside, but technically you can't see anything. 
mind you, mind you, you might be able to see off my reflection on the glasses. Better take my glasses off. <laughs> um, I'm inside my cab. I'm allowed to film inside my cab, as far as I'm concerned. It's my, it's my home. I'm going to film inside my home. Um, so yeah, we're just going to sit here for uh, five, ten minutes. Get reversed in, and then get the thing on. Uh, we're going to chain it up. I think four chains, two either side in the corners, pulling forward and backwards, cross chain should be enough. Um, and then, yeah, I'll show you what we got on exactly. Um, I think it's quite heavy as well. I think it's a good 20 ton at least. This is going to be one single unit, about 20 ton in weight, quite tall, um, which is why we need the low loader. It, I'm hoping it's not going to be too tall. I don't think there's no bridges anyway, so it doesn't matter. It could be quite tall if it wanted to be. But, uh, yeah, just a waiting game now. We've got to wait, annoyingly. Okay, we're back in the yard and this is what we got on. There we go. That is a very big, heavy thing. <laughs> I don't actually know what it is exactly. We're 4.5 meters tall and uh, we've got chains on the front and the back crisscrossed, uh, pulling forward and pulling backwards. So uh, yeah, two on that side, two on that side. She's a, she's a beast. And there we go, 27 tons is what that weighs. And I gotta tell you right now, we are at maximum weight. We are 44 tons. Um, with me in it, we are 44 tons. So yeah, she is a beast of a machine. We gotta take this all the way up to Tamworth. It's about a two hour drive up there. And then um, I still don't know whether we're rescuing someone. I've just been told to, uh, to carry on with what I'm doing for now. But the boss wants photos, so I'll come here so I can take photos. Right, photos are taken. Let's uh, well, let's get crack a lacking. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you on the road somewhere. See you in a bit. There will be GoPro footage today. Oh, actually, before I do go, I completely forgot. Um, so the reason we bought a low loader, I've already told you the story, but it's because it's tall, right? We know that. That's why we bought a low loader. What they didn't measure was the the rollers in the building that it has to come out of because it's loaded inside a building, it's craned on, and then it's I've got to drive out roller doors. <laughs> what they didn't think about was how tall the roller doors are. I had to lower my suspension on the tractor unit. I also had to lower the suspension on the trailer as low as it would go. And it's still literally scraped, scraped out. <laughs> there are marks where I scraped out, but they were watching me through. It wasn't like I just driven out by myself. Uh, they were watching me and telling me to go forward. It was a squeeze. It was a squeeze, but uh, we're out, we're out. Okay, it is time to stop and get some fuel. We're going to put just 100 litres in, just enough for today, um, because we're nearly on the red. We also need to top up the bad blue as well in a sec, and uh, make sure we've got enough. I've got, I've got a carton in the passenger locker, so once I put 100 litres in here, I'll go get that out, and I'll pop that in as well. The job will be a good one. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god, I've stopped exactly on 100 litres. Literally. Just stopped exactly on 100. Nice. Right, now we need to put some ad blue in. Put some ad blue in. So, the load is still on. We haven't lost it. That's a good, uh, that's a good sign. Happy days. Let's get me ad blue. Add blue, come to me. Hang on, you're gonna be at the back, aren't you? You're gonna be empty. Yes. This one. Let's go fill her up. Okay, add blue has been filled up. That's that on. So I'm literally just on top of the trailer right now because later on we've got to use the winch. I just wanted to have a quick look at it. Jump! Jump! Yeah, I've got to use that later. Right, let's go, uh, let's go pay for the fuel. Right, fuel has been paid for. Got my, uh, let's have a drink. I've got Matt a drink as well, the guy who we're rescuing later. Put on the phone to him and uh, he said he ran out of drink, so he'd appreciate a monster, so then I got him a monster. It was a bit cold out, so I thought I'd put a hoodie on. This hoodie's dirty. I do have other clean hoodies to wear, but I've still got to unchain 
and rescue another truck and I know for a fact that I'm just going to get dirty again with the chains so might as well just put the dirty one back on um, so yeah we've got fuel let's crack on and uh, go and get this thing off go and get this thing off we're going to be there in about an hour and five minutes so hopefully about 20 to 12 we might be in there for a little while because it was uh, well last time I was there I was there yesterday and it was quite busy so we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see the good news is we've only got one lift so as soon as I've got my chains off I can um, get it hopefully tipped well it will be tipped in one, in one lift so shouldn't be too bad we just got to go careful here it's a bit of a blind left We're going right yeah there's a car coming I had to move out over to the right to turn left so I can see left. And there we go, look, you should be able to see it in the uh, behind me now. She's still on. Good sign, good sign. Well, I'm gonna crack on. We're about to head onto the motorway. Let's go and get this thing, uh, this thing tipped. Go rescue Matt. Oh yeah, like I said, Matt, I've got you. Uh, I have spoken to you and you asked for a, uh, a pink monster, so. That is in my fridge, calling down for you. So hopefully you enjoy it. Right, we're on the motorway. I've seen a bit. Right, we are about four and a half miles away now from where we need to be, but I thought I'd start filming because we're just about to come off the motorway now. We're coming off the M42 and we're going to be heading into Kingsbury. That is where we're going. Remember, I can't actually film in the place that we're going to. Don't know why, but hey, I've been told I can't, so I better listen. Don't want to be getting told off. Um, it is still on. I don't actually know what it is that we're carrying, but it's still on, which is good. Right, Kingsbury, we want lane three, this lane. We'll be careful of cars coming down either side of us. I don't want to be going too fast around bends either, because it's top heavy this, so. The chains won't snap, but it will just take me with it. <laughs> it will tip the whole thing. Truck and trailer will go on side if we go too fast around some corners. Right. Okay, we're gonna come off here. Where's this van going? Had a feeling it was gonna come around me then. I'm going to be annoying. <laughs> going to be annoying this uh, tipper driver behind me now because 100% he's going to want to overtake me. I'm going slow. I'm not going fast round corners. There's a few roundabouts we've got to navigate round, and I won't be going fast round them. Okie dokie, roundabout HS2. So we want to get in the right-hand side lane to go straight over. The ticket driver that was behind me, well, is behind me, is actually turning left here. Okay, we're coming off here. Right, we're going to go straight over this roundabout. Nothing coming from the right, it's all clear. lovely that beeping by the way is the internal sat nav i have figured out what it is it's the uh it's the internal sat nav in the in the truck itself and it's warning me of a weight limit sometimes it thinks you're going down a road you're not going down there was a rate a little bit on the right hand side and that's what it, that's what the beep was there was a long the longest time since i had this truck for like two months i would say i didn't know what the beep was but then you slowly figure it out and then i'm like ah it always makes that beep when there's a weight limit so yeah by the process of elimination you finally figure out what it is <laughs> right we're still about still about two miles away where are you going you're not indicating right i think i think last time you might have gone down there i don't know low bridge one and a half miles 
That's fine. We are coming off before then, I think. Yes, we are. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. We've got to turn left. I think the bridge is on the right-hand side. I'm like 99% sure the bridge is on the right-hand side. Okay, so, yes. Uh, we're just around the corner now from where we need to be. Obviously, I'm not allowed to film inside, so... I'm going to go in there, get this taken off, and then I'll see you when we're on our way to go rescue my colleague um, in a little while. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Okay, we are tipped and we are heading out and it feels a lot lighter. <laughs> feels a lot lighter uh, now that's off. Beacon's off. Come on, mate, keep coming. you got loads of room, come on. Yeah, a hell of a lot lighter now that that heavy load is off. Um, right, we're only 42 minutes away from um, where we've got to go next. Pick up my colleague, rescue him. I don't know what time my other colleague's going to be there, Jake, because he's got to pick up the trailer. And I don't know what time my boss is going to be there because he's going to have the loading ramps to, uh, <laughs> to have to get the truck on this trailer in the first place. But... Um, yeah, we see what happens. If uh, if no one else is there, then maybe I can start getting stuff ready. For example, getting the winch out and putting the tow and eye on, which I'm going to assume, Matt, if you're watching, you've not done yet. I reckon I'll get there <laughs> and the towing eye is not in yet. We'll see. Right, I'm going to crack on. Oh, also, I can't say where I just was, but hello to the bloke I just saw. Um, you said that I'm the reason you drive trucks. I apologised. <laughs> um, but yeah, nice nice to meet you. If you are watching this video, you probably know where I am because you saw the trailer, saw the load. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Right, let's crack on. I'll see you when we get there. Right, as you can see, the heavens have opened. It's, uh, well, it's rather moist out. So we're going to be getting wet. So that's, that's lovely. That's lovely. <laughs> I've also had some more bad news. So it turns out the winch on this requires what we call an Anderson cable. It's essentially what puts power to the winch. Um, I don't have an Anderson port on this truck. My colleague Jake, who is also going, does have an Anderson port, so I've been told. So I think I've got to drop this trailer and Jake's got to get under the trailer to, to use the winch so we can winch the other truck onto the trailer. That then means that I might have to hitch up to the curtain cider and do the curtain ciders workload today. It's got two drops, one in Leicester and one somewhere else. So, um, yeah, <laughs> might have to do that. Um, would rather not, <laughs> but we do as we're told. Um, we'll see what happens. So I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. Anyway, we are, we're just two and a half miles away, so we'll be there shortly. I am going to be the last one to arrive. The boss turned up about 10 minutes ago. I was told that Jake was about five miles ahead of me, so he would have turned up within the next, well, the, sorry, the last five minutes. And I'm gonna be there in four minutes. So we are, give or take, funnily enough, all turning up within the same sort of 20 minute time, time slot. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I don't know what I'm doing. To be honest with you, I could I could be bringing the low loader back to the yard with the truck on. I could be doing um, the delivery to the two stores by myself. I might do the delivery to the two stores with Matt with me as well, so he's out helping. So we don't need to stop for breaks because he can drive them while I'm on break. There's no stopping because I need to stop for a break soon, actually. Um, or Matt might just drive my truck and I might even go back to the yard with the boss. Who knows? <laughs> no idea. But. Um, We'll find out sooner rather than later. So you'll see the tractor unit sat on the side of the road, and obviously when you come back, you need to come over this side of the road, basically, so that we can reverse the lorry yeah. on the lo 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 loader. Yeah, it makes, right? yeah, it makes sense. Oh uh, yeah, Jake, Jake, Jake's leaving. He's just gone around that bend, so you're only a couple of minutes behind him. Yeah, well, I'll see you now. All right, All right no worries. Yeah, see you in a sec. All right, wait. right, here they are. So this is the truck we want to rescue. Yeah. 
So um, we've got to turn around, face the other way, so we can reverse the truck. Well, yeah, we'll reverse, winch it back up. So that's what we're going to do. There's a roundabout down here. I already knew there was a roundabout down here. To be honest with you. I was thinking we, we could maybe turn in here, but it's a bit... If none of this stuff was here, I might not be able to do it. <laughs> so, I don't know whether he's stopping or not. We can make that. Because, um, yeah, the boss said that we need his winch. Uh, sorry, his Anderson. So I don't know whether he is stopping. Right you are. Let's go on back. Let's go see what the crack is. See you in a bit. Okay, situation report. I've hooked up to the curtain liner, as I thought it was going to be. I can't tell you where I'm going because I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> I think Matt's going to be coming with me. But uh, yeah, it's one of those places where I can't say where I'm going. Again. But uh, yeah, we're going to, to, to the curtain liner. There we go. The rain did stop. It's still a bit windy. Cold, never mind. So I'm hooked up ready to go. Let's go and help these guys out. Right, things ain't going to plan. Winch is not strong enough for some reason. It keeps cutting out. So we're going to try and roll it on. <laughs> I might need to pull it up myself on the other side of the road. Not sure yet. Let's we'll see if we can roll it down and roll it on. Right, situation report. Me and Matt, I've got Matt with me. Um, I've driven to, I can say where I've driven to, Longborough, I just can't say where I am. I'm not at Halfords. You can see Halfords there. I'm genuinely not at Halfords. I'm in an area where um, there's, there's a lot of shops nearby, let's say. And Halfords happens to be one of them, but that is not where I'm at, where I am right now. But I can't say where I am, because, uh, well, I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm driving to this one. I'm going to drive to the next store, which is half an hour away. And then Matt's going to take over, Matt's going to drive us home. And I'll be in the passenger seat and I'll be doing my paperwork. Um, getting it all ready to go. And I'll probably do some filming while I'm in the passenger seat as well. I think that's a great idea. But for now, I'm just uh, cleaning my windows. I'm having a little clean around. Matt is outside with the curtains, opening them up for the uh, for the guys here. Like I said, it's your trailer, your deliveries. You can uh, <laughs> open up the curtains. That is what he's doing. Um, yeah, so it was a bit. Of, it was actually a bit of a palaver rescuing his truck. The winch, for some reason, didn't want to pull it up. So then we tried rolling it up down the hill, rolling it up. That didn't work. And then I don't know what happened, but I had a go on the winch, me, and it worked. So we have me to thank. <laughs> Long story short, it wasn't working for anyone else. I pressed a button and it was going out really fast, and I twisted it so it went in and um, then it worked and it pulled the truck up so Mwah. I am I am to thank for it anyway um, I'll probably see you when I'm in the passenger seat which I'm looking forward to <laughs> yeah in a bit I don't think I'm giving anything away by filming this <laughs> it's quite nice when uh, when someone else is outside doing the curtains just absolutely hammering it down with rain <laughs> I've <laughs> just slept down in bed. Uh, to be fair, I wasn't supposed to do this. I wasn't supposed to do this load. It's Matt, Matt was supposed to do it, so Matt's doing it. <laughs> I've do it. Anyway, he's going to drive me back now. Um, I'm going to sit in the passenger seat on the way back. 
to the yard. It's about two and a half hours. I'm not going to stay in bed while he's driving. I am going to be in the passenger seat. Although I used to, as a kid, I used to love sitting in the, well, laying down in the bed when my dad used to drive um, uh, trucks. So yeah, back then, I think rules were a lot more relaxed. You didn't have to wear seatbelts or anything. But yeah, I remember being, as a kid, led down on the bed while my dad was driving. And uh, yeah, don't think you could do that anymore. Not allowed to do that. So I think we're done now. Um, yeah, Matt's coming now to so get his reaction <laughs> to me laying down. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> Matt, it's starting to rain. <laughs> Stop fishing. <laughs> Do some work, you fat. <laughs> hey, I saved him. I rescued him, and now he's driving my truck. <laughs> I've been doing. I've been doing paperwork anyway, so. <laughs> He was literally, he broke down this morning at 7.30 or something. He was literally sat doing nothing for four or five hours before anyone else occurred to me <laughs> for making him do this. He's only doing this for like an hour. <laughs> anyway, again, I can't say where I am, but um, there's a Halfords over there. We're not at Halfords though. Um... We, luckily from here, we've got to go straight back to the yard. We haven't got to go anywhere else to tip anything else without giving anything away. Um, so yeah, straight back to the yard. And then I'm assuming, because Jake had the low loader on when we left, because he's got an Anderson cable, which powers the winch. I didn't have an Anderson, which is annoying. Um, so hopefully by the time we get back to the yard, that's all sorted. We ain't got to do anything else like that. It'd just be a case of dropping this trailer. And then and then I'll be solo, get the truck washed, fill it with our blue. And, uh, and then go home. Well, this is, uh... How do you feel about the traffic? It's f***ed. It's f drive. It's f***ed. <laughs> Let me over then, you bunch of f***ed. <laughs> Can't get into it. Go on, go on. Go on, you dare. You plonker. He's done it. He's driv driven in the Red X. Absolute plonker. I am meant to know where you're going. I think the van is being clever. Like he's stopping just before the red light. <laughs> that red car definitely went through the Red yeah. X. I think this white car's going to do it as well. well morons. I don't know if he's taking the exit here. So uh, yeah. All of these cars are morons for going through that Red X, in my opinion. These cars are annoying because they're cutting in last minute as well. I'll see them down there, drive. Another moron. Come on, you snag. Another moron. Red X. Right, we've now passed the Red Xs. Nobody should be in lanes one or two. Nobody. Nobody should be in lanes one or two. Distinguished. That'd be the problem. There's a, a car broken down in lane two. If only there was a hard shot. Oh, wait. There's no wait. hard shot. Oh, no. Yeah, but what do they call the motorways that don't have hard shots? So, oh, the smart or some. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they call it smart when it's stupid. Never mind. There's still people in lane two all the way up to the end. Look, it's mad. Absolutely anyway, mad. Poor car. Send her. Crack on, drive, crack on. Send her, drive. Crack on. Send her. Let's go. I mean, that looks like it could be raining over there. That looks like rain over there, drive. You think that's rain that's over there? I think that's rain, mate, yeah. Let's have a look. Let's see if it is rain. Yeah, here comes the rain. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that's raining? I reckon that's raining, mate. I think that's raining, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, she definitely <laughs> raining now. Definitely raining now. Oh, it's getting worse, I think, isn't it? Bridge. Oh, it's quite now. Ooh, broke it down. Kind of a hard shoulder there, kind of. 
it's taking a little bit while, a while longer to get back, hasn't it? Just With traffic there. and Just whatnot. Just a little bit. Nearly there. What's the ETA? Ten past seven. Oh, my rubbish is coming in. Nearly there. Nearly back. Do you think I've got to wash my truck when I get back? I can't be bothered. I can't, I can't be bothered. He's had a wash on the way back. It's been raining. <laughs> Okay, and just like that, we are home. I'm in my car. Uh, I got back to the yard with Matt. I dropped the trailer and uh, parked it up and did some bits and bobs in the yard. Nothing mega. I actually still need to go to, to work and get some Mad Blue. Um, today's Thursday. We've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. On one of those days, I will go back to the yard and I should put some Mad Blue in. And yes, before anyone says, I'll put my card in, put it on other work. I'm only going to be there like half an hour, but I will put my card in. Um, it's one of those questions that I get asked all the time whenever I go into work out of hours is, oh, I hope you put your card in. Yes, of course I put my card in. I, I wouldn't say that I go to work on like a weekend and then not put my card in. That's just silly. But yeah, so we're going to go to work on the weekend at some point and, and fill it with our blue ready for the following week. Maybe even hitch up to a trailer. Depends. I'll ask, I have to ask what we're doing. Um, yeah. That's it for today. Um, it's been an, a relatively interesting one. I must apologize. The last video, um, there was a bit of a gap because I couldn't film stuff. This video, there's been a bit of a gap because I couldn't film stuff. Um, it's just something that we got on at the moment. We can't film at either collection or delivery. Hope you understand. You know, I don't want to get the company in trouble. I don't want to get banned from places. Don't want to cost the company work. So I do have to be careful what I film. Um, I am. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm actually on it all of next week from what I can tell. Um, so I don't know what I'm filming next week, but we will see. I will try my best. But luckily, we managed to go and pick up Matt and do a little bit of recovery. It's a shame I couldn't have a low loader all the way back to the yard again, but it is what it is. It meant I got some extra footage while sat in the passenger seat, which was quite nice actually to get some additional footage. And, uh, and Matt, bless him. <laughs> I made him get out in the rain and he was doing the curtains. Um, I know, I've been working all morning while he's been relaxing so I can relax in the afternoon so we can work in the afternoon. That's now raining still. It, the weather, we, we literally hit like the eye of a storm on the way back. The, the, it got really wet, really windy and really dark actually quite quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm home. The time now is actually quarter past eight at night. I only left the yard like 15 minutes, 20 minutes ago. Um, so yeah, we didn't finish until I got back in the yard about half seven, spent half an hour in the yard when I left. So it has been a relatively late one today. Um, so I'm now going to go home. The wife is cooking me chicken curry, so I'm going to eat that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to eat it. So thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know, leave a comment down in the section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, my name has been Luke and you've been watching Luke's in HTV. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.